What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some hamburger stew. So, let's do what we do and get stewing, shall we? Come on, stew. That's right, baby. The hamburger stew, and you're saying to yourself, like, I want stew. Is it that time already? Well, let me tell you what it is, boy. Because I stepped out there this morning. It's 33 degrees, man. I had to say boo, like Gasper. So I'm shifting into soup mode, like old George Costanza. So we're gonna make some soup. And the thing about this is, you know, your old boy, like, oh, it's been a hell of a week, man. I've been sick most of the week, down with the old cold or something, some kind of nasty bug that I had. So finally kicked that, but the thing about it is, you know, this is going to be a, uh, I'm going to uh, tickle two ladies with one hand, <laughs> if you will. Then, you know, this here is a quick and easy meal. You can put it in the crock pot, set it in and forget it, and that's good for me because, like I said, I've been sick all week, so my chores have just piled up high like Mount Everest, and I've got a list as long as my arm that i got to get done today, so I want a nice dinner to be done, and I want something that's going to warm my bones up, and, uh, you know, kind of clear out my sinuses and stuff, man, so some good stew is going to do just that. Now, I've got my stew going, but we need to get yours rolling. So, first thing that I need you to do, go ahead and get you some of that ground beef, baby, that big beef like me. So, take that stuff and don't put it in the crock pot, man. Let's go ahead and put it in the old skillet and brown it, baby. And you're saying to yourself, like, oh, why are we putting the ground beef in the skillet first? Isn't it going to cook in the crock pot? Well, you could cook it in there if you wanted to, but the thing about it is, that thing is going to have more grease than a NASCAR track. You want that grease out of there, and you also are going to get a nice brown, caramelized, good flavor from that skillet. So, put it in the skillet, and of course, what we're going to add for a flavor, salt and pepper, baby. So, put a little salt on there, a little bit of that black pepper, too. Now, once you get your ground beef good and done, I want you to drain off that grease. Get your crockery there, Fred Sanford. And we are going to put that stuff down in there. Now, put your uh, drained ground beef in first. The next thing that I did was I went ahead and got some Mr. Potato Head, those Idaho potatoes. Left the skin on, washed it off, and uh, cut it up into little, you know, cubes. Put that in that crock pot too. Then we are going to add a big yellow onion, baby, just for that onion flavor because, you know, like I said, I'm trying to sweat everything out. I'm trying to get my cleanse on, so that onion is going to make me breathe like that little man that was on top of, <laughs> on top of that mountain in that commercial. Ricola! You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Next thing that you got to do, <laughs> put in some vegetables, baby. And you know, <laughs> there again, you can go to the garden, which most of your gardens are pretty much dried up. Mine is now. It's too cold. We've had our first frost, man. I'm shaking in my boots. I don't want to be out there working in the yard. I want to be inside watching grumpy old men. So, today, I just went ahead and got a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. That way, you're not buying 90 different cans. You know, it's cheap, it's good, and it's going to work for you. So, go ahead and dump that on top of there. Now, let's put a little flavor in the damn thing, if we will. So, Onion soup mix. Now you're saying black owl. We've already got onion in there, man. Don't you think that's enough onion? I don't really even like onions. Well, you don't have to put onions in there, but to me, beef and onion flavor, it's a good one-two bunch, baby, like hauling up. So put that onion stew mix in there, and last but not least, let's have a little drinky in there. And you know, a little too early for drinky for me. And like I said, I'm just getting off being sick, so not quite yet. Beef broth. Put a little bit of that in there. Not enough, you know, you can cover it if you want to, but to me, you really don't need that much. Just kind of, just a little bit to let it sit there and swim around in and do its thing. So, once you've got all that done, put your lid on there, put that thing on high, and since the uh, beef is already done, not going to take very long, baby, maybe two hours or so. So, I better haul ass and get to my chores. You do what you do. We will meet back here when it's time for a psych and it's time for a bite of that wonderful hamburger stew tonight. You know what I'm talking about, baby? If you don't, I'm going to show you. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
Alright baby, the time has come. The steamy hamburger stew is done. I'm having that first hot bite for my damn self here. Look here. Make sure you get all everything in one bite, man, so you can have that good flavor. Ooh, hot. Ooh, that's good. Stew. So, wonderful, man. Easy, cheap, warm. I just kind of want to stay here for a minute, warm my hands and warm my gut. But I will say thank you to you for stopping by for another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one. Enjoy that stew, buddy. And I'll see you next time. Excuse me. Stewing it myself. <laughs>